Okay, so in this video we're going to solve a differential equation. This differential equation appears to be what's called a Bernoulli differential equation. Recall a differential equation is Bernoulli if it can be written in the following form. So dy dx plus p of x times y equals f of x times y to the n. So whenever you see like y to a power like this, um, it's probably going to be Bernoulli. So in this case, it does fit the form. Let's go ahead and try to solve it. So the first step is to identify our n. So n is equal to 3. And then we make our substitution. So the substitution for the Bernoulli is u equals y to the 1 minus n. That's going to be u equals y to the 1 minus 3. So u equals y to the negative 2. The next step is to solve for y. So I'm going to rewrite it here. So u equals y to the negative 2. And to solve for y, we can raise both sides to the negative 1 half power. So we end up with y equals u to the negative 1 half. You could do it the long way. And when you do it the long way, I'll do it up here so you see it. You end up with u equals y to the negative 2. So you get u equals 1 over y squared. You multiply by a y squared, so you get y squared u equals 1. Divide by u. And then here's what I wanted to explain. When you take the square root here, you do get a plus or minus. It doesn't matter which one you use. We'll just take the plus. So you get the square root of u to the negative 1, which is u to the negative 1 to the 1 half, which is the same thing we have here. So all of this is completely unnecessary. So uh, and you don't have to worry about the plus or minus because it doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, so we have our y. So now we compute dy. So here's a key, key step. So dy dx. So u is equal to y to the negative 2. y is a function of x. Therefore, u is also a function of x. So we have to pretend that this is our inside function. We bring down the negative 1 half. We leave the inside untouched, and then we subtract 1. So negative 1 half minus 1, that's negative 1 half minus 2 halves, that's negative 3 halves, times the derivative of the inside function, that's du dx. So we're using the chain rule here because u is a function of x. All right, so I'm going to put this in a box because this is an accomplishment. It's not the answer, but I feel like we've done something good. <laughs> The next step is to make the substitution. So I'm going to come down here and rewrite the DE again so you can see it. So the original problem was dy dx minus y equals e to the 2x y cubed. So now we're going to plug everything in. So dy dx is right here in a box. So that's negative 1 half u to the negative 3 halves du dx y is u to the negative 1 half, so this is minus u to the negative 1 half. And then here we have e to the 2x. And y cubed, so y cubed is u to the negative 1 half cubed. Um, so that's going to be u to the negative 3 halves, right? We're cubing this beast here, right? Because it's, it's a 3 here, so this is u to the negative 3 halves. This should be a linear differential equation. So we should try to write it in standard form. So you could just divide everything by whatever is here, but that's a wreck. The way I do it is I write down what I'm going to do, and then I actually do it. So what do we need to make this a 1? So let's see. We need to multiply by. So to get rid of the negative 1 half, we can multiply by negative 2. And to get rid of the u to the negative 3 halves, we can multiply by u to the 3 halves. Right? And that will cancel everything. The reason is when you multiply u to the 3 halves times u to the negative 3 halves, you end up adding the exponents and you get u to the 0, so it's 1. All right, so performing this multiplication, this goes away, so we just get du dx. All right, negative 2, and there's a negative here already, so it's going to be a plus 2. And let's see what happens here. We have u to the 3 halves times u to the negative 1 half. If you add those, you get u to the 2 halves, so you just get u to the 1, which is u. And so that's u. If you don't get u, you did it wrong, right? It's really important that this is a u. Um, it's going to guarantee 
that this differential equation is a linear differential equation. So it's very important that you get u there. All right, let's keep going. Uh, negative 2, e to the 2x. And these will just straight up cancel, right? u to the 3 halves and u to the negative 3 halves, boom, they're gone, right? They cancel. All right, now we have to find what's called our integrating factor, okay? So recall that when you have a dE of the form dy dx plus p of xy, equals f of x, it's linear, and your integrating factor is mu of x equals e to the big P of x dx, right? Do that kind of quick. So here, big P is 2. So mu of x is going to be the integral, e to the integral of 2 with respect to x. That's going to be e to the 2x. So that is our integrating factor. Let me write it down one more time. Mu of x is equal to e to the 2x. I'm going to put this in a box. Because that, my friends, is an accomplishment. All right, let's go ahead and multiply everything by e to the 2x. So we get e to the 2x du dx. Then multiplying the second term by that, we get plus 2 e to the 2x times u. And then here we get minus 2. And then e to the 2x times e to the 2x is e to the 4x, right? You add the exponents, right? You add the exponents. And here's the trick. Whenever, whenever you do this with the linear DE, this always becomes DDX. And it's always your unknown function, which in this case is U, times your integrating factor, which is E to the 2X. And over here, we still have this. And this is always going to happen. This is like an always thing. It's always going to be DDX, your unknown function, times mu of X. Usually it's y, like when you're solving linear de's, most of them are dy dx. When you're doing a Bernoulli, you, know, you transform the y's to something else, right? You get u's, so it's always a u. So it's your unknown function times your integrating factor. You can check using the product rule. So if we use the product rule, it's the derivative of the first, which is du dx, right here, times the second, which is e to the 2x, which is right here, plus the first, which is u, times the derivative of the second, which is e to the 2x, times times the derivative of the inside chain rule, right? That's how we get the two. So using the product rule, this does check. The next step is to integrate both sides. So I'm going to write integrate. Integrating the left-hand side, the ddx goes away. So we get u e to the 2x equals negative 2. Integrating this, we just write it again and divide by 4. So e to the 4x over 4 plus c. Right, to integrate e to the 4x, you just write it again and divide by 4, right? You, you could show the work, but we typically don't at this stage of the game, right? You let u equal 4x, etc., and it does work. You end up dividing by a number, so this is just e to the 4x over 4 plus c. So if it was e to the 3x, it would be e to the 3x over 3 plus c. Let's divide everything by e to the 2x just to make it look better. So this is going to be negative 1 half. Dividing this by e to the 2x... We subtract the exponents, right? So it's 4x minus 2x, so it's 2x. And then over here, we have c over e to the 2x. We're almost done. We just have to figure out what u is. I forgot. So I'm going to scroll up and look. Looks like uh, u is right here. Yay, there it is. I found it. <laughs> it's y to the negative 2. So we can replace u with y to the negative 2. And that's equal to negative 1 half e to the 2x plus c over e to the 2x. But y to the negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over y squared. So this is equal to negative 1 half e to the 2x plus c over e to the 2x. And that is the solution to the Bernoulli differential equation. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.